Houston traffic, Sam Houston, departing dock 7, going to Crown North. A tour of the Houston Ship Channel aboard the Sam Houston offers visitors a glimpse into a national epicenter of economic prosperity and environmental issues. Many businesses along the Houston Ship Channel take raw materials and create finished materials that are either transported somewhere in the U.S. or exported through the port. The Ship Channel is home to the nation's largest oil refinery. And Port of Houston Authority officials estimate the Ship Channel generates as much as $300,000 a minute. Very difficult to prevent a hurricane from coming on shore. So really the thing you have to concentrate on is how can you mitigate the impact, how can you respond to it, and how can you get back open quickly. In 2008, when Hurricane Ike struck nearby Galveston, businesses along the channel dealt with a storm surge as high as 16 feet and a power outage that shut down operations for two weeks. As a result, the Port Authority expanded its emergency operations center and companies rebuilt their docks higher. Climate scientists argue that rising sea levels and warming oceans caused by climate change will only make future storms more intense. But state Republican leaders, including Governor Rick Perry, have raised doubts concerning climate change and have fought attempts to address global warming, arguing that it would stifle business. Let's face it, Texas is an extremely business-friendly state. You have the governor going all over the, the U.S. promoting Texas as a place for businesses to make their home because of its business-friendly environment. Larry Soward with Air Alliance Houston, an environmental group, served on the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality from 2003 to 2007. The former Perry appointee says climate change was not a political issue back then. But today he says the Houston Ship Channel is more than just a hub for economic growth. Not only is Houston and Harris County the epicenter of environmental issues such as global warming uh, and climate change and, and ozone, but it's also the, the economic engine of the state and even to some extent of the nation because of companies and industries like you see behind me and all the others along the ship channel. If I could have been a stronger storm and moved further to the west, then Houston could have experienced storm surges around 25 feet. In other words, they would have been flooded with, say, 10 feet to 15 feet of water. And that includes most of the Houston ship channel as well. Clint Dawson is an aerospace engineering professor at the University of Texas at Austin, where he heads a program that creates computer models of sea level rise and hurricane storm surges, information cities and companies use to know the potential risks. I find myself in sometimes an unusual position, deeply committed to making sure that uh, you know, the oil and gas industry it continues to thrive here in, in Houston, but understanding that uh, our greenhouse gas emissions have a direct impact on climate and uh, doing what we can as a city uh, to mitigate that. Houston Mayor and East Parker is working with leaders in other coastal communities to address the risks along the coast, which includes the ship channel but knows without state support, any proposal faces choppy waters. We come together and we focus on uh, you know, storm surge, how do we harden our infrastructure. We, we work, we, we, we make the pragmatic decision to, to, to not throw buzzwords at each other, but to focus on where we actually can make a difference. In the meantime, industry continues bustling, and a resolution to the climate debate is not on the horizon. Reporting along the Houston Ship Channel, this is Alana Rocha with the Texas Tribune.